Hello vlog, I'm back. I've decided to teach myself how to sew. I looked up some, a wiki how, also a video that I'll link down below. Maybe I'll put it right here. Boop. It was a great video, she was super cute. If you didn't know, I work as a barista and I have an apron. Not only will it start to smell like rotten milk, but it's also developed some holes. Not holes, particularly one massive hole that I need to repair. Cause I was like, oh, I could like repair it with yarn, but that would just look so tacky. I wanna like actually like close it up and like give it like some look of normalcy. So we're gonna do that today and hopefully it's a success. I'm gonna start by, since this is like a two ply thing, like there's two layers, I think I'm gonna literally cut open this entire bottom portion from the inside or like from the like underside so I can like put it inside out and repair it from the inside so I can like close it down as best I can with like the stitch on the inside. I might go get some like mending tape or whatever she said in the video to help with like the fray, the fraying that's going on. Cause it doesn't, like the frays don't look too horrible. I just need them to not get bigger and develop into like the hole that's here today. Let me show you what my supplies are today. Okay, so here are my supplies. We have hole, and this is Marcelo's mom's like sewing kit that I've been blessed with because she has so many yarns. So this is the one that I chose for today. It matches pretty well. So I grabbed my hair cutting scissors because it's said to like use really sharp scissors. And yeah, these are like the sharpest I have on hand without going to the store. So we'll do that. These are the needles and then the wiki how that I have pulled up and then obviously drink your water. So love my reduce, which is a local brand in Atlanta. I didn't know that. They're so kind. We're back. I've changed the shot. So I'm just gonna start by cutting into the bottom. I'm like so nervous. Worst case scenario, I use the freaking chop apron. But this is gonna work. I'm just gonna like pull it up so I cannot cut, you know, right into the other side of the fabric. So this feels good. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut as close to this seam as possible. Oh! Might have made the first cut. Now I'm just gonna cut across the entire thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Mm. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to sew this all back together. That's gonna be so sad. Honestly, we might come into some actual like coffee grounds. Okay, I'm gonna cut as straight of a line as possible. But I was given this apron by my work. Obviously I want it to last. They have new aprons, but I have such an attachment to my to this apron. So it's like I'd rather literally spend who knows how many hours doing this rather than get a new apron. <laughs> Hopefully it won't take that long. Okay, ooh. Oh yep, there's all the coffee. Oh, there's all the coffee. That's so gross. I have acquired a hand back. Now we're gonna try to flip it inside out. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, I'm gonna cut all of the like frayed edges from the whole part now. WikiHow said to like, take a bunch of the, the thread, cut it, then we're gonna thread it through the needle that I have now, and then tie it in a knot at the end. Mmm, delish. Did it. And then you're supposed to thread it through until both sides are even in length. Oh no, there's a knot. 
please lord. Okay, these are essentially the same length. And then you tie, it says you tie an overhand knot, whatever that means. Okay. Okay. Step one is done. <gasps> wow! Okay. Pierce the needle into the side of the thread that people won't see. So I'm gonna like push these pieces together. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this slip stitch, which is also known as a ladder stitch, to bind and close two pieces of fabric together. Okay, I'm just kidding, I can't do that. I'm just gonna wing it. We're just gonna start sewing it together. Yes. I am patching the massive hole on my apron. Well, I guess not, uh, not patching. I'm sewing. Sewing. Good for you. I'm recording it too. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Okay. Love you too. Say bye, vlog. Bye, vlog. <laughs> bye. We're making progress. Okay, I think I got to the end. Yeah, it's looking much better. It definitely looks a little Frankenstein-y, but I'm fine with that. Now I'm gonna look at how to end it. Okay. I'm just making like a bunch of knots. Ooh, this looks so much better. I do think I'm gonna go to the store and get some of that tape or that stuff that she used in the other video to like iron it onto the back so I can stop these from getting bigger and that will help hold the stitches that I did. Yeah. Vlog goes on a road trip. Woo! We're just going to Michael's. Okay, I think I'm safe to record. I was almost so successful. The last clip you saw, I was on my way. I was on my way to the register with only those three items, one of which I still didn't need. I found the tape stuff, the mending thing, and it was only five dollars a piece and i was like but i'll get the pink i'll get the pink pins because they're pink that's literally the only reason so i got the pins and then and then i heard a person at the register talking about how their christmas items were 90 percent off and last time i was here it was like 60 percent off which i still i bought a lot of stuff that day i first went to the to the yarn section and i ended up purchasing these so this is like the first yarn i made a scarf like my first scarf that i made when i picked up crocheting again was made with this yarn and i feel like i haven't seen it since i made that scarf so i grabbed all that was there it was only three because now these are 1.99 a piece so that's not too bad so got those but then i did loop around to look at the christmas items let me show you the most beautiful wreath i was looking at this wreath when i was here buying the other christmas stuff and it was still too much money this thing retailed for 60 dollars 60 motherfucking dollars 
and it was $4.99. $4.99! That's crazy. So, yeah, now it's time to drive back home. But I wanted to give you a haul. Okay, I'm back. I have my, my mending fabric. I also have my iron heating up here. Yeah, the hole is much... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's stitched clothes for sure, but it's looking so much better. I also need a little board. There's this guy. Also said to put some paper down behind the thing so it doesn't touch it. Then it says to put the shiny side down, but I'm gonna cut a piece. I'm gonna need my pencil. So I'm just gonna outline this. Now I'm gonna cut this piece out. Said to round out the edges. It doesn't catch on stuff. My beautiful piece. So, shiny side down. Shiny side down. And we're gonna start to press it. This apron smells disgusting. Okay, now I'm gonna let this cool for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's nice and cold now. The edges seem nice and down. I'm gonna pull it off this. Paper's fine. Yay! It's looking way better. But the only thing that might have like not been as successful with this is because it said to use the paper with like a clean garment and I didn't wash it first because I was going to wash it like after I was done with all this. So but it looks like it's fine and that should also help the stitches not come up since now they're like protected on the back. So the last part is to just close up the gap that I made. So I'm gonna cut just like a super long piece of the red and then we're just gonna do the same thing so yeah i don't i think i'm just gonna not film this part and just come back once i've gotten to the end so i can like play a podcast and because this will take me a bit longer the time is now 3 35 so let's see what it is when i come back okay i'm back the time is now 4.23, so I decided on a pink line or pink yarn for this one. Looks fine. I'm gonna consider it patched. So this is the final product. Yay! So now I have to wash it and just hope for the best. Um, I'll keep you updated on if it holds up, but I'm incredibly happy with my progress today. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked seeing me DIY this, then like the video so I know that you like me doing this stuff. But hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to get enough sleep and drink enough water. So yeah, bye.